Hello, this is Dick G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second and Lair. Let's see what's going on around Eisenberg. Now that we're done with our business with Holly and Erutus Profiteur. So let's see. I want to head to the Mithril Mines for the next dungeon. But before we do that, why don't we pay a visit to Heart's Child while we're in the area? Maybe I'll pay a visit to the bridge eventually as well. Well, I definitely will be. Uh, not so much for a blue chest or a side quest, but there's something else that we can get over there. But that's not an extraordinarily high priority. Well, no festival this time around? Oh, right. Well, at least Angela's not pulling his old tricks. But, uh, yeah, just stay away from the pastries the heavenly pastries and you'll be fine well whatever keeps your spirits up oh well good good is the commander in or is he still back over at uh it got Ladio there something or other well thank you no he's not in okay maybe he's at the bridge i don't know where he is actually Probably got the Ladio, but... Well, whatever we got going on here. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Not like you have the Empire breathing down your neck at the moment, though. Oh. Yeah, I suppose it can be. I love how fast we can go up and down these stairs. I wish we could do that, like, everywhere in the game. The game's long enough as it is. But, uh, okay, so... Let's... Yeah, arrange my setup here. I would like to switch over to, yeah, the random battle setup since, well, we already did the boss, at least. Okay, so let's see, for my setup, I think I'll leave you alone there. But with Idea, yeah, I want to switch her over to Shamanism because there's going to be quite a few enemies in the Mithril Mines that are strong against Earth Elemental Damage. So I'm not going to be using Rock Storm there. Uh, let's see. I want to give learning to Idea though, because there's a new Cat Mansi that we can get over there. Okay, so we got that, and then yeah, Axe Lore. I want to make sure we got that ready to go for her. Let's see. Magnolia is looking good. Let's see. For Tiz, I want to give him Triple Wield there. To exploit more creature types. But otherwise, I think we're good on the abilities. Let's get you set up with Rod to Fire. A lot of enemies are going to be weak to that in the mines. Or anywhere, for that matter. I mean, what wouldn't be weak to fire, really? And then, let's see. Yeah, let's get the Flare Hatchet going on Idea. Let's see. I don't care about having, like, a Rod of Fire on Magnolia. She's going to be using her Light Elemental Damage. Let me see how the uh, agility is looking there. Okay, I think I'll leave the Hermes Sandals on Magnolia for now. But I might switch that around with Tiz later. We'll see how the speed is going with God Speed Strike and all that. And then for weapons, I want to give him the Artemis' bow. Because we're going to be dealing with both undead and beast type enemies. So, two for one there. And then, let's see, I also want to be able to exploit humanoid creature type. So, yeah, let's go with the katana there. Let's see, I think that's all good there. But how about we rest up at the end while we're here? I mean, I suppose I could have rested up on the rub dub but I was already here. And the money doesn't really matter. And before heading out, I would like to play a little more Chumpcraft and buy another upgrade there. Maybe unlock a song or two while we're at it. Okay, so to start here, yeah, let's max out the glue there. Upgrade the brush. Then let's upgrade the stuffing and the scissors. Everything should be spread out by at least a couple seconds there. So I don't have to make a mad rush to upgrade everything all at once. Ooh, a pink chomp. Or peach colored, I guess, as the game refers it. I don't know that I've ever seen a pink peach before. I thought they were more like orange colored or something. But then I suppose I wouldn't really know. I don't 
I mean, I don't eat peaches, but I mean, I've had them before. They're fine. But I suppose I would not really know. But, okay, so we got all that, and we're doing pretty good on the CP. I would like to get up to, like, 9,500 to 11,000. I've got a couple songs there that I could unlock. But let's see what we got here so far. Okay, so we've got, I think, 12 green. Let's see, a couple blue, a gold, and a peach. And then with the amount of CP I've got so far... Okay, so I'm a little under 9,500. So we'll go one more round and then I'll check it again and hopefully I'll be able to unlock a song with all that. Okay, so what do we get tacked on to that? Okay, so a few more there, another blue one. And then with the amount that I've got here, I'll have barely over 9,500. So yeah, why don't we get this one? Yeah, there we go. You need between 9,500 and 10,000 CP in order to unlock that song. So, yeah, it's a bit of a narrow amount of CP that you've got to get to unlock that. Now, after this cycle, uh, I want to think about whether I want to... Well, let me see how snack time is looking. Okay, so the thing is, I don't want to upgrade a lot of things and snack time all at once. But I think I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it anyway. Upgrade that, upgrade that, upgrade the glue, snack time at six seconds, upgrade the scissors. Okay, I think we're good. Pending sale. Let's see what we get out of it. Probably not enough to... Oh, we got enough, I think. Yeah, there we go. Between 80 and 90,000 CP to unlock this one. And I'm going to need in excess of a million... Well, I'm going to need about a million CP in order to get the next upgrade that I would like. Which would be the scissors there. And, well, that one helped out a lot. I want to have more than a million, though, just so I have enough. To upgrade all my tools here and if I've done everything correctly I should be able to yeah I'll definitely get another cycle in before snack time runs out okay let's see what we got here with all of that okay so seven green ones five blue let's see five silver no gold, two orange, one peach. Okay, so that's correct there, at least. And then, okay, this would get me about 70,000 CP. So I'm just going to let that run out and hope somehow that I can get up to 90,000 with whatever I fill up the tray with there. But otherwise, we're looking pretty good. Okay, pending sale. What do we got out of this one? Nope, not nearly enough. Now, let's see. I could get the scissors upgrade right now. But I would be very concerned about... Uh, what is it? Having enough left over to upgrade my tools. So, I think I'm going to wait a little bit on it. Maybe do one more snack time. And then we should be okay here. Okay, so... Yeah, we should be okay on my timers now. Yeah, I think everything is just like uh, a second behind the upper timer there. So we should be fine on that. It'll be close, though. But then I'll be able to get a little breather here. Okay, so yeah, let's upgrade that. And then upgrade you. Upgrade the scissors and the glue. Okay, well, that works. I think, anyway. But, uh, okay, so we got, well, 5,000. That's not bad. Yeah, you see, this is why I didn't get the scissors upgrade yet. Okay, let's see what I've got with this batch so far. I want to get up to between 10 and 11,000 
if I can here. Okay, so we've got 12 green, two blue, one silver, one peach. And then with what I've got so far, I've got 8,000. I think I can do this. Not right now, but I mean, after another cycle or two, I could get up to 10,000 there. But I need to pause so I don't, uh, yeah, don't risk uh, going too far over, that is. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to do one more cycle and whatever it is, it is. And I'll just go with that. Hopefully it'll be up to 10,000. Maybe get a red one in there? No? Okay. What do we got then? Yeah! There we go! Woohoo! This one, yeah, requires between 10 and 11,000 CP in order to unlock. So now we're really well staggered with the timers. So just get down to 6 seconds, activate snack time, and see what we get out of it. Hmm. Maybe I could have waited another round to fill up the tray completely. Oh, man. I needed like 90,000. Maybe I should have done that after all. But I got three songs already today. That's more than good enough. But yeah, I could have waited a, another round or so. But now probably no more songs. But I would like to get the scissors upgrade now. Upgrade that. Upgrade the rarity. So now we can get... Well, it says 25, but it's actually uh, 24 since we can't... We don't have enough holes in there to fill up 25. But we're looking pretty good here. Okay, one more cycle. Boom. Oh, wow. Lots of CP. Okay, that'll be more than enough for today. Would have been nice if I could have gotten that one last song. But that's okay. We're good. We're good. Okay, uh, let's see. I would also like to... Yeah, let's get autosave back going before I forget about that. Now, let's head on over to the Mithril Mines. At least I think that's where I want to go. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that now, and I'll go to the bridge later. Okay, so Mithril Mines, there you go. And let's see if we can find that blue chest around here. Somewhere around here. Now, this is going to be the last chance to get some upgrades. Oh, hey, we got a tent event up there. I think I'll save that for later, though. I've already uh, seen it already, so yeah, there's nothing to worry about there. Oh, well, this will be fast. Hmm. Okay, well, that's all that I really needed, but there are some new enemies around here that I would like to find and fill out the bestiary. We got the Blessed Shield there. If I recall correctly, it casts, or if you use it as an item in battle, it casts Cura. I think something like that but yeah that is uh what i came here for but now let's start looking around for some new enemies shall we let's see well i've already seen these two but i think we'll be okay we'll find other things here eventually okay so with tiz though Okay, so we got the humanoid creature type, but I want to exploit Ariel. So how about we switch over to one of my rifles there. We got the new one here, Fortuna. Might as well use that, since nothing here is weak to water. At least not these two. Okay, so we'll go with that. And the katana I've got will exploit the humanoid creature type of the Orc Lord there. So let's see, these guys, I do need to fill out the bestiary entries here. Because uh, we don't find them in any of the remaining dungeons around Eisenberg. Well, there's the beast type enemy I was telling you guys about. 
Okay, so with these two... Let's see... Idea could take care of them. Let's see, Magnolia would also do pretty well. But I want to save Magnolia as long as I can. So, yeah, why don't we have Idea take care of these two? How about we go one Sidewinder... And then, okay, well, yeah, we got one enemy weak to water there, actually. And actually, uh, I would imagine they're strong against fire somehow. So let's go with Sidewinder, and then maybe a few single-targeting physical attacks there. Mm, that should be good. Yeah, we already met up with the Red Helm in one of the... Random, or not random battles, a uh, fixed encounter back at Geyser Grotto in Chapter 2, I believe. Okay, there's some new enemies. Lots of them, too. Let's see. So, all these guys, yeah, they're undead. So, let's see. You could take care of them pretty easily, I think. Or Magnolia. Either or, really. So, why don't we have Magnolia do that? I'm thinking if there's a way I could make it work with you. The Anubis can have over 10,000 HP, if I recall correctly. So, I don't know that you could kill these guys on his own. But, how about... No, I don't want to use that. Let's get uh, maybe a Vigor Tonic over on... Well, I was thinking Magnolia, but maybe get it over to Idea. Yeah, why don't we get that over to Idea instead? Magnolia... It's fine for now. Oh, uh... Yeah, first, let's get those examines in there. But yeah, the Anubis is strong against Earth, if not absorbs it. So, that's one of the reasons why I'm not using uh, Rockstorm. Not to mention Regulus that we just killed there, too. Okay, and but all these guys are weak to fire and light. So, Stardust should work wonders against them. And you is probably not going to get his turn anyway. But, uh, yeah, good thing I had Magnolia finish these guys off. I thought Anubis had potentially a lot of HP there. Well, let's see, Anubis can also inflict Paralysis or Doom on your party members there, so you might want to watch out for that. I was thinking if maybe they had an item that would be worth stealing, but no, I think I'm thinking about one of her, uh, one of their cousins later on. Okay, so I'm going to need at least three uh, heat spells to take these guys out. And I'm thinking about giving a BP over to Idea. Maybe Magnolia might be better. Okay, yeah, why don't we give one to Idea? And then three heat spells should be enough. Probably. I could deal like three or four thousand damage, I think, per heat spell. Yeah, there we go. Good thing I did the third one. I was thinking about maybe only using two heat spells and get another Vigor Tonic in there, but no, nah, I didn't want to get greedy there. But I do want to examine some more new enemies around here. These guys can also be found at nighttime on the overworld there. But I decided not to go after them. I was only interested in the dark drakes that can't be found in any dungeon. So that's why I didn't go after these guys earlier. But uh, okay, so we'll go to magnifying glasses. Let's get back onto the... Uh, what is it? The Flare Hatchet. And that other axe there that I accidentally removed. Okay, so I think these guys all have under 10,000 HP. So that should be enough to kill all of them. Or I could be wrong. Okay, never mind. Well, I mean, it's not like I was going to... Oh, wow. They, got, they all got quite a bit of HP. But even then, I mean, there's nothing else I could do. Would have been nice if I could have gotten one more battle in there, but 
How about we just go with a good bomb fragment? And hopefully nobody dies. Well, I mean, I want them to die, but none of my party members die. But yeah, at this point, I'm only interested in the money that I can get out of the battles here and fill up the bestiary. So, yeah, that is all of the new enemies at this time. So now, yeah, I'm just going to uh, fill up the bestiary mostly for the non-undead enemies. Because I think I can encounter them elsewhere. Yeah, all I really need right now is Flame Moth, Orc Lord, Red Helm, and Regulus, which are all here. So, yeah, and they can't be encountered in other dungeons, while the undead enemies can. Though, if I run into undead enemies, I'll certainly take the offer to kill them. And, let's see. Yeah, I'll just, uh... Why don't we get back upstairs, at least, first? So that way I'm a little closer to home. And closer to the tent event. Okay, this ought to be a good spot to take care of all that. So I'll be right back once I fill up the bestiary here. All right, I think I've gotten everything that I need for the bestiary there. That should be, yep, yeah, the flame moth. That was the last one that I, well, the last one I really needed. But uh, let's see, no more undead. Okay, there's still a few undead enemies that I need to kill again eventually but we can find them in other dungeons so for now let's see wow i didn't really use a whole lot of mp at all really but i'm gonna rest up here anyway and i already showed this tent event earlier so yeah they don't change them for new game plus so but some of them you can do again the one at ball crater though i couldn't because i didn't have repo with me but i already done with that so i'm not worried about it but uh, okay i am done with what i wanted to do here so let's see where we can go next i want to actually go to the old aqueduct coming up here and while i'm doing that how about we pay a visit to eisenbridge but, uh, yeah, let's see what's going on here. Okay, looks like Commander Goodman is gone. But, uh, oh. Yeah, I suppose. Doing a good job. I don't know that I actually want to go in this entrance, so I think what I'm looking for is closer to the end of the old aqueduct. But let me look that up real quick here. Okay, so this guy... Probably about as close from one side to the other. But, uh, yeah, why don't we go in? So it's basically the same enemies that we encountered at the Mithril Mines. Except there's more, uh, what is it? Or there's only undead enemies, though. Not any of the overworld enemies. So let's see what we got around here. There is no blue chest for this dungeon, or... Wait, no, that's that's the wrong way. Whoops. Let's try that one again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we gotta go all the way around here. Ah, I was like, where's the stairs? Couldn't see where I was going. Alright, let's see how that's doing with the bestiary now. Let's see. We already completed Anubis there. And then... Okay, yeah. The Lancer and the Hunter. I also already did the skull knight so yeah that ought to be good oh there's also that uh the cat mancy that i wanted to learn but i didn't uh yeah i didn't do that i mean i could still do it now there's no reason why not or later whatever we've got but uh okay so that's everything for the bestiary at least so let's see what else we got coming up ahead here okay i want to get to the upper left corner of this area and go to the next screen from there. So if I can get up here, we should be good.
Wow, that's a lot of undead. Okay, so for this one, yeah, I think I'm going to have... Well, I would want to have Magnolia do that. And I think I am. So how about we give a little bit more BP over to Tiz and... I'm thinking if I want to give it to Adia there. Hmm... No, no, let's just do the one for Tiz, and then a few Stardusts. Two Stardusts should be enough. Yeah, look at that damage on the undead. I guess they really do fear cats, huh? But alright, another brave attack. Okay, so for this one, if I want Tiz to do this on his own, I would have to use a bomb arm. So, I think I'm just going to have Idea take care of these guys. Good, we got the Flare Hatchet ready to go. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, the one Anubis has more than 750 HP, so a Bomb Fragment alone would not be enough. But otherwise, why don't we have you maybe try to get in a Vigor Tonic on Magnolia? Almost certainly not. Nope, okay. I mean, it could happen. Their speed isn't that different but not this time okay so at this point i'm looking for a skull lancer to learn that cat mancy and then with these guys okay yeah i'm gonna have to use a bomb fragment or a bomb arm for this one if i want tiz to do this which i do normally i would have you finish off this battle but because tiz is at max BP already. I don't want him to stay there in the event that we get another brave attack. So bomb arm and two Godspeed strike should be enough, but maybe a third one just in case. But all right, that works. Maybe get a little more BP over to Magnolia, or we could just get the Brave Attack. Why not? Okay, so no Skull Lancers yet. Let's see, I could kill them with three Heat Spells, so why don't we do that? I was thinking about maybe using a Vigor Tonic, but if I can keep you at zero BP, that would be nice. Can I even find the Lancers on this screen? They are around, I just haven't seen them yet. But, uh, okay, so with these guys, let's see, I don't want Tiz to do that. Why don't we just have Adia handle these guys? And then for BP, hmm. Let me see if I can get you to get a BP over to, to Magnolia. Her damage is just obscene in this dungeon. Everything is weak to light. So, yeah, Stardust works wonders here, both literally and figuratively. Okay, I think we got a Lancer here. Yes, we do. Okay, so... Let's see, with the other two guys... Let me see if I can get Tiz to kill the one guy, at least. Okay, so we'll kill that guy... And then, yeah, let's just leave everyone else alone. Okay, that's good enough. Actually, though, why don't we get in a little healing here while we're at it? With White Wind. And then, I could have Tiz kill the Skull Knight. So, why don't we do that? I didn't want to do it before, like with Mimics, because the Mimic, if I killed the one guy before... It would auto target to it could auto target to a random enemy for the subsequent ones. So that's why I didn't use the mimic to kill the knight earlier. But now I will. And now we get to wait a little while. There it is. Boom! We've got our uh, cat Nancy. Hooray! Okay, and then yeah, just a bunch of heat. Ought to be good enough. Eventually, there you go. And we got lots of money. Okay, so we got all that. And then, let's see, how are we looking here? 
Oh, I might want to heal up you. I would like him to survive here. Because we gotta pay another visit to Mr. Owl. And this time, we since we have the qualifications, we're not gonna get the katana this time around. So we can get the fire elemental summon of the game. So, yeah, why not? I suppose you could equip those flame robes from earlier if you were on a regular new game and you weren't as over-leveled as I am. Man, we got trains and everything. Well, I suppose they would have, like, uh, mine carts or something. So they got the rails and everything going here. Ow! Quit it. But, all right, got it. We're done with our business here. Oh, actually, looks like we got another memo here for the Promethean Fire, whatever we're doing there. Ah, there it is. Uh, oh, no, that's not it. We got, like, a full page entry for them now. What do we got? There we go. Yeah, kind of strange to put an aqueduct next to a volcano. But I suppose you got to have your hot springs and all that. But, uh, yeah, that's all we got there. And let's see. What does Bone Crush even do? Let's see. Okay. I never use that, though. I wonder if enfeebled means, like, inflicted with a status ailment or just low on HP. I don't know. I don't really care. Stardust is more than strong enough to take care of my needs. But, okay, we're done there. Let's get out of here. Are we going to be on the overworld? No, we're not. Okay. Okay, so we got the summon there. So, now, let's pay a visit over to Yunohana and see what's going on over there. Looks like we got a side quest or something happening. Right over there. And, yeah, I want to change my setup. Eventually. For now, though, let's see what else we got here. Oh. Yeah, good for you guys. You don't have your uh, bathhouse anymore, though. But uh, let's talk to this guy. Winston? Ah, I'm not doing this again. This guy's gonna hurt himself when he whirls around, and we're gonna... Ah! Ow! Oh! It seems this man is destined to be injured here. Hmm, better watch out. That's a doozy. Tis but a scratch. Uh, don't worry about... Ow! Sorry for the cat, man, see? Please don't force yourself. Here, come and sit down. Where? Hmm. It doesn't look like anything's broken. But I'd still say take it easy for a while. Okay, well, we're not dealing with Winston yet. Well, that won't do. I just got in a rush order, too. What kind of rush? For the ominous party that left for Grab Keep, right? Oh. Well, how did you know? Uh, we've played this JRPG before. Literally. <sighs> Here we go again. Yeah, pretty much. So what should we do? Go through the side quest again and choose the other option? It's not like we have a choice. We'll just have to deliver the food. But but if we do that, won't we? We'll live. Maybe if we... No. We have to do it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we do. Then let's prepare ourselves as best we can. Sir... I think we're going to need more food than you have there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that might be a good idea. And I need you to listen carefully to what I'm about to say. All right. You don't remember what happened last time? I guess not. Oh, uh... Oh, okay, I thought they were going to talk a little more than that, but, uh, okay. Hey, kitty! Oh, 
Yeah, I think we already heard about that. Yeah, not very good. It's not a very good status in this game. Oh, yeah, that was the idea. I wonder if the NPCs would be there if I uh, parked the rub-a-dub over there. I'll check that out. Eventually. For now, though, let's uh, see what else is going on here. Well, it looks like the Lord got here early for a change. Oh, yeah, I was... I've already met the guy. We're cool. Oh. Ha ha. Hey, how's it going? Like the outfit. But, uh, yeah, why don't we get out of here then? And I'll see if I can park the rub dub over there. Oh, Satanta again? Of course it is. I have no idea what the point is about all these songs, I guess. I mean, it's not even, like, background or anything, or lore or something. Whatever, I don't care. But, uh, okay, so, we got everything there. Let's see, so the park at Unohana. Get in the water. And enter from the water. Oh, okay, I guess we gotta go down. So are the NPCs here again, or no? Maybe I gotta, like, leave and come back to make that happen. Shut up and reboot. See if that works. No, it didn't work. Okay, never mind then. Uh, but I can't, like, use the icon in the field menu there. So we'll just have to get out of here the old-fashioned way. But, uh, okay, so we gotta go to grab keep. Uh, actually, though, yeah, why don't we just, like, fly there? Oh, I was like, wait a minute, I thought we were already pretty close to it. Okay, so the blue chest is not on this floor. But I do need to flip the switches again. Oh, you know what? With uh, Idea there, now I can get back onto... Uh, yeah, get back Barrage for... Her. Now that we don't need learning, there's no more... There's no more uh, Cat Nancy for us to learn here. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll just, uh, yeah, go straight to the end. Try to find a, I forget if they have a blue chest here, I think so. Almost every dungeon has one, past the prologue, that is. Okay, and no, there isn't a blue chest around here. But I do need to be able to open up a gate around here somewhere. To, or, do I? Let me check, yeah, I do need to. Yeah, it's going to take a little while for us to get that gate open. So let's go on up here this time around. But at least we don't have a blue chest to worry about. You see, there was no lever on this side of the floor. In the previous floor, that is. Okay, but I do know we got one here. That doesn't really matter, but we might as well open it again. Eventually, I'll want to get back to the start. But for now, we still got some more switches to flip around here. Let's see, I thought there was one... Ah, there it is. I knew there was one around here somewhere. And that one is not useless to me, actually. Let me see, if I go up here... I don't think I need to flip the switch up here, but I'm gonna anyway. If only to satisfy my OCD. But yeah, that just leads to a chest and another one. All right. I better get back to that adventure pretty quick because I'm starting to get a little light on my catnip supply. Can, can't get enough of it. And cats can't either. Well, let's see what we got going on at the moon base at least. Ooh, another bomb arm. That's always good. I, I've actually been using some of them with Tiz to knock all undead enemies under... 10,000 HP so we can actually kill them with a single Godspeed strike after. 
Oh, and we even have the uh, tent event available here, too. Nice. But for now, yeah, let's get back to the entrance. That won't undo everything I just did. Even if I fully left the dungeon. But for now, let's get back to the adventure and have a tent event. I'll just skip the cutscene, though, of course, since we've already done that one. But, uh, okay, so yeah, why don't we rest up here, get past all that, and change the setup. See, it shouldn't be too different from what I've been doing for her bosses up to this point. Okay, so, yeah, why don't we just save what I've got there, and then apply this one. Okay, so for you, yeah, now we've got in the red, so we might as well use that instead. Hey, that rhymed. And then, okay, so for Idea, yeah, we'll just stick with the axes. Magnolia, I think we'll just stick with, yeah, good measure. Although, why don't we get in the red going as well? Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then with Tiz, I think we leave him... Alone to, yeah, Katana Lore. Okay, so for... For you, I'm going to leave him on the Rods of Ice, even though Artemia is weak to fire, because Meteor will just hit for max damage anyway. Let's see, with Adia, though, yeah, we might as well give her the Flare Hatchet. Oh, and before I forget... Yeah, disable autosave. If I can, if I can get over to it, that would make this a lot faster. But otherwise, yeah, we'll just leave her on the flare hatchet. Might not be a bad idea to give her some Hermes sandals. The black belt's going to do nothing because the axes kill your crit rate anyway. Might as well get a little extra speed while we're at it. And then, let's see, with Magnolia, yeah, we'll just give her all that stuff. With Tiz, though... Let's give him the Flame Tongue, and then the Katana that I can't pronounce. Power Bracers. Yeah, that ought to be good enough. Oh, I should have... Uh, I should have done the Tent Event after switching the job classes. Whoops. Uh, actually, though, I don't want Magnolia doing that, because she's going to be using Full Charge. But Idea doesn't mind. Okay, so, yeah. Otherwise, we're at max MP. So, that'll be fine. And then, let's see. For Idea, Catmancy. Actually, it doesn't matter whether I have her on the Flare Hatchet or not. Because I'm just going to have her use... Uh, what was it? Rock Storm. So, yeah. We might as well just leave it like that. That should be good enough. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, save before heading on up. But this time, we come prepared for disaster. If I can actually get up the stairs, that would make this a lot easier. Okay, so what do we got going on here again? Femto, flare, whatever. Ah, oh, we've found it at last. With this, the ultimate magic is... Uh, what was that one that we just got? Ominous, Artemia, we've got to get out of here now. Or that. Oh, I'm a Tarasi. Uh, an earthquake? Uh oh. Uh, we were still too late. Evidently, maybe we're the cause somehow. Uh... Maybe the real bad guy is uh, trying to trap us here. All together, Idia. Oh, so we ended up here again. How's the exit? Well, we could just use a teleport stone. Just the same as last time. Or not. We're boxed in good and tight. We brought extra food, right? I was afraid you might say that. Fine, let's go and talk to them. Maybe they'll actually listen. <laughs> now you're just talking crazy. Ilya, what are you here for? 
Oh, right. We didn't tell you yet. Why Idia here? For battle? That's the idea, yes. They don't remember anything. Oh. I would think they would at least remember a little. So it seems. Oh, well. That might actually be for the best. Mm, maybe. Listen, Ominous. It looks like we're all trapped here. There's no way we're getting through the rubble. Not without the ultimate monster magic. Femto Flare. So, you got it, right? The, how do you... But you still have to refine the incantation further before Bahamut can have any chance at mastering it. Well, what do we need to master it for? I mean, just, you know, one fireball ought to do the trick. Well, that about cover it? Something like that. How could you possibly get the... You cheeky little... Can you get us out of here or not? Uh-huh. Don't worry. I'm sure my father will... Yeah, your dad is putting together a rescue party as we speak. Yeah, we've been there. Done Risotto, that. Risotto, watch your step over there. You don't want to injure that foot of yours. Uh, right. Yeah. We've brought plenty of food with us. We should have more than enough, whichever way we choose to go. Oh, well, at least we don't need to, like, ration it or something. Whichever way? Choose? What do you mean? Uh -huh. We got plenty of food. Yeah. Whether we choose to split the food evenly or pin all our hopes on Ominous. Again? I thought we brought enough food so we didn't have to do that this this time. Uh, idiot! Tyrant! No right! I'm afraid that's incorrect there, Artemia. Th 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 that's right! You just waltz in here and you think you get to decide everything? Well, yeah, I'm the protagonist. I do. Artemia, <laughs> you think that the food should be split evenly among everyone here. And Ominous, you say we need to ensure that Bahamut survives and masters Femto Flare for the entire world's sake. What good is that going to do if, you know, the rest of us die? I make my decision fully understanding both sides of the argument. But we don't have much time. Yeah, I don't think so. Careful, idea. Might have to think about this carefully. Whichever choice you make, we'll be facing stiff opposition from the losing party. And waste even more of our energy while we're trapped here. Here we go again. Hmm. What should I do? Oh, we're just going to skip to the end instead of going through 30 minutes of cutscenes again? Well, at least that helps. Okay, so I do want to fight Ominous first, just to... Show what happens there. So, I think that's the right one. So that we... What have you yeah. decided, Idia? So that we take on Ominous. The food should be shared evenly. It's the only fair thing to do. We said life was fair. Idia! <laughs> this won't do. She blew it. What would the Templar think? And that old geezer. Well, I mean, she is kind of in charge now. The girl you two trusted. This foolish girl and her fool friends. They've turned their backs on our world. Lots of fools around. No, there's still time. C come now, India. You'll reconsider, right? Well, we've got plenty of time, don't we? Didn't I already get the Black Mage asterisk? I mean, I'm wearing it right now. But, yeah, we'll go after Ominous. Why not? I'm sorry, Ominous. I've made up my mind. This food ought to be shared evenly. And if you don't like it, you get to die first. Ah! Ha ha. Forgive me, Grand Marshal, but I'm going to have to fry your fool daughter to a crisp. Again? Come, Bahamut. We have to win this b b battle for the sake of the world. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Uh, you're going to try and set me on fire? We, we have no choice. Burn them. Burn them all. Burn the witches. For boss time. You're about to face. 
Space Black Mage Ominous Crow and his loyal partner, Bahamut. We will... We will defeat you for Luxendark's sake! Ha-ha! And a little small for a Bahamut, but okay. But all right, so let's see here. Yeah, Bahamut's weak to ice, but I'm not even really worried about that. So I want to use Meteor Rain first, now that we've gotten in the red for you there. And then Idea, she can hit both of them with Rock Storm. Let's see, Magnolia. Yeah, why don't we use Holy here? So even though, uh, let's see, Bahamut is weak to water, I'll still deal more damage with Holy than I would with Lizaga. And then for Tiz, same as usual, get a Falcon Stance, Falcon Claw, Mimic. That should be good enough. Although, actually, I probably should have changed the sword around because of Bahamut. Yeah, I might actually heal him. Yep. Whoops. I mean, we'll still be fine, but... Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, not quite max damage. Sorry. But we've already examined them, so... We should be good. Oh, I hope. Congratulations. I hope you have some plan to save the world. Violence is a plan. Oh, we got another meteor, right. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, it might come down a little close there. Yeah, look at that damage. Okay, silly mistake aside, though, it worked out. Though I don't really need another bomb arm at this point. Where are we? Yeah, are we like flying That's or something? Safe in Unohana. We oh. put us up in the bathhouse. Oh well, good thing I parked there. Or wait a minute, no, I took it back. They found us. Is everyone okay? Unfortunately. We're all fine. You and Magnolia are up and moving too. So, how did we get out? Artemia? The kids? They all made it back safely. They're out getting food right now, in fact. Uh, good, good. We figured you'd be grouchy when you woke up with an empty stomach. Well, yeah. Anyone... What about Ominous and... Bahamut? They all died. They both made it. Oh, They're or... They're out in the boiler room, preparing hot water for the baths. Yeah, or that. Oh, thank goodness. Well, at least he's not bitter. Right? <sighs> What's wrong? I mean, we got the wrong ass to it. Are you still having second thoughts? Going against Ominous and giving up on the Femto Flare? Well, maybe. No. I don't regret anything. I'd make the same decision again if I had to. You're about to. Besides... I'm sure those two will master Femto Flare someday. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, I imagine they will. magnifique! What's up? Food? Oh my! What a splendid banquet! Miss Idia, the townspeople have all come to express their thanks! Hey! Prepare your stomach, Idia. I see a great feast in our Oh. Okay, that went through a little quick. But that's okay. Alright, so... Yeah, we're done there. Let's uh, undo that. Undo! And uh, let's try this one again. Okay, so I'm going to be dealing fire elemental damage. But even so... Or I'm going to exploit fire elemental weakness. But even with that, though... Uh, what is it? Holy would actually still deal more damage than Fyraga at this point. So, yeah, I'm not going to use that. Well, I mean, I'm going to use Holy and all that. But, yeah, I think we can just skip to the end this time around. Oh. Or, well, not the end, but to the decision point, at least. 
But, uh, okay, so now let's give the food to Ominous this time. What have you decided, Idia? I mean, does Bahama even eat human food? I... I have to bet on the Femto Flare. Or that. Idia, serious? Have you ever known her not to be? I'm sorry, Artemia. I understand how you feel, I really do, but... I need your asterisk. Idia, all life equal. Human, to gone, all same. All I... same. I would beg to differ. I don't think a virus is the same, but that's alive. But, uh, yeah, I would like to, uh, grab that. So, sorry, we gotta murder you for the rest of us to survive. You don't get any food, either. Yeah, wrong. Wrong must be right. Artemia make right. How does that even work? For boss time! Ranger Artemia battle! Make idiot right! But, alright, so let's see. So we already got the other guys. We only need to examine Artemia there. Oh, uh, now I want you to uh, participate as well. Yeah, Meteor is going to be way more powerful than Firaga anyway. But, uh, okay, so let's have Idea do the examining, since she's going to be... Uh, what is it? Yeah, going before everyone else. But, yeah, the Earth Elemental part of Rockstorm would overwrite the Fire Elemental of the Flare Hatchet, so, yeah, there's no point in doing that. But, yeah, let's get some Holy going on Artemia there. And then that ought to be good. Give it a try. Oh, she uh, defaulted there. That could be a problem. Well, we'll find out. Can't hit max damage now. But at least I can exploit the elemental weakness. Hmm, not a whole lot of crits, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, look at that damage, even with defaulting there. All life equal. All end. Well, yours is about to end. But, alright! <laughs> Beast flesh. In for defeating her, we pick up... The Ranger Asterisk! I don't want to be a ranger. Really, I don't. It's a pretty terrible job class. I mean, I don't think it's even close. Maybe multiburst might be interesting. This light. Could it be... Uh, uh, Femto Flare? Doesn't look like any flare I've ever seen. Welcome back. Hey, how's it going? Tis. Where is everyone? Dead. Use right here. And Magnolia's safe too. Oh. Well, at least the important ones are still alive. And Dominus and Bahamut? Everyone important. They're fine. They woke up three days ago and have spent every waking hour in the baths. Oh, that too. And Artemia? The kids? Everyone important. They're all fine. Oh, them too, I guess. Ominous held on to one last fire and cast it to burn away some of the debris. How would that even work against, well, I assume, brick and mortar? It's not like everyone was completely unscathed, but really no more than a few scratches here and there. Well, that's good. Apparently, Ominous managed to pull off Femto Flare a full four days earlier than we'd expected. Damn. I, I mean, good, good. I'm sure we have you to thank for that as well. Always coaching Bahamut. Uh, we did? And Artemia? Well, I mean, we made it out, at least. People seem to think she hasn't gone far. But who can say? Well, there's plenty of wild animals for her to hang out with around here. <sighs> you have regrets? No, not really. No. I know I did what I could. 
I chose what I thought was for the best. I know things aren't perfect, but right now I just want to celebrate the fact that everyone made it out. Without having to sit through hours of cutscenes! Yeah, I can understand that. What is the meaning of this? Right in the front hall. In front of everyone? My, would you look at that? Wild oh. boar and deer and... Oh, so much! We have deer? I don't think I've ever seen one. Miss Idia, look at all the game meat someone sent you. I hope it will help you recover your strength. Oh, there's a letter here as well. Let me oh. see. Everyone alive. Respect. Idia, eat meat. Grow strong. Then battle again. Roar. <laughs> Do that again, Magnolia. You best eat up. Someone is looking forward to a rematch. Roar. Come on, do it again! Oh, honestly, does she like to fight that much? Uh, I'm starving. Well, first things first. But, uh, all right, we made it. So, the only thing that might be interesting from Ranger... Let me see, where are you? There you go. Yeah, maybe Multiburst, because it deals... Well, the four hits of damage, kind of like the Falcon Claw, but with this one, that's a uh, 0.6 times the damage. Whereas, let me see if I can bring that up. With uh, Falcon Claw, it's 0.8, but you do need to spend an action to get into Falcon Stance there. So I guess, you know, it's a little bit of a, a trade off there. Maybe Multi Burst might be better but i think what i've got going now is already sufficient for my needs i should also uh restock on catnip before i forget again but let me see what else we got here too as far as restocking and stuff goes oh yeah we need a lot of that beast flesh i used a bunch of uh cat feathers when i was healing up with white wind off screen between battles there. Okay. I think that ought to be good enough for my needs. So let's see. What do we got around here? Uh, oh, okay. I guess we don't have to have to do anything specific, do we? For the next side quest. Where are we? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we don't need to do anything here. I was thinking we would have to, like, initiate the next side quest or whatever we got going on uh, over there at Stark Fort, that is. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's uh, get that set up, and then I think we'll be good to go over to Stark Fort there. I think they, I think that one actually does have a, a blue chest. I forget what we... Uh, got going on there but can we solve the murder case once again find out next time on let's play bravely second and later this is H. bailey signing off have a good day